Studio. What is it? So good. It's not him. It's well, it may be him, but Sweet Bell Pepper. <laughs> oh, it's a Sweet Bell Pepper. It's it's on fire. Okay, this is Sean Weinberg. He is Hi, from uh, Pleasure. Al Alba Restaurant, Alba, Restaurant Alba? Alba, yeah. Okay, and you are making a vegetable panini for us today. That's so right. let's get to some of these ingredients. Okay, well, first of all, the panini, um, basically made in a panini press. What is okay. a panini? Panini is a pressed Italian sandwich. Pressed Got Italian it. sandwich. We're not okay. pressing the whole sandwich today, however. We're just pressing the bread. But how can you make, I mean, I love a panini, mm -hmm. but just a <laughs> vegetable panini, well, how is that going to be as good? Well, vegetable paninis get a bad rap, uh, and I think that, that's do. the problem. That's why I'm here today to show you a couple oh, interesting yeah. techniques oh and, a, and a new ingredient, hopefully, for a lot of your viewers, okay. um, and that is burrata cheese. Okay, yeah, what? what is, this that? is This is a cheese. It's a yeah. mozzarella. It's a fresh mozzarella. Can you see it? comes from a small little village in Puglia in southern Italy. Basically, they stretch the mozzarella, and they make that with curds and cream. From, from the cheese. And then what they do is they stretch that, and as the cheese is being stretched, they take some of the curds and the cream, they put it in the middle of the cheese, they wrap around so you have a ball filled with what's almost like a ricotta consistency. Yeah, and it, what, is that olive oil that you sprinkled on the it top? It is, a little olive oil, sea okay. salt, cracked bell pepper. I'm like, you okay. should put a little on the bread Go there for, for me if you'd like. It looks here. like a, a, some mozza, mozzarella. Yeah. No. Oh, that's too much? Kind of no, that's perfect. Great. Is that all right? Yeah, just oh. spread it out. Like a little wad on there. You're a pro. Thank you. So you named the that's rest. that's the that's the that's a beautiful ingredient. Oh. That right there would be a delicious that's meal a good itself. sandwich, right? There. I would it like is. a little to couple tomatoes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Roasted so peppers. Tomatoes aren't in season, so today I've actually prepared some roasted peppers for you. Okay. Here's three steps of the roasted pepper. You see, people don't actually realize that they can actually Hold roast on. this right at home. Okay? Yeah, it's good. they're great in the oven. Yeah, yeah, right in the oven. And if you could do it right on the fire like this and char mm -hmm. the skin up, this is your end result. Okay. Okay, and then you would just peel that off under running water, and then here we've actually marinated the peppers. Pe peel the, the peel. Yeah, charred under part? running okay. water, you can peel that skin right off. Off. And okay. these are cold now? These are cold and marinated okay. with some fresh herbs, olive oil, a little bit of sea salt. Can you put that down? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Three ingredients in the sandwich, that's it. So vegetable panines get a bad rap. All these things would work well just on the grilled bread themselves. Okay. Now, what have you done This here? is actually raw asparagus. And what many people don't realize is that you can actually take raw vegetables and ones that you wouldn't necessarily eat raw and cook them slightly with a little bit of acid. Hmm. In this case, lemon juice. That would be like ceviche. Exactly. Okay. Same, same idea. So you can use a little bit of vinegar. You can make a vinaigrette and dress them. And they don't want to dress for too long. You do this with zucchini. Carrots, obviously, are something you can eat okay. raw. But zucchini, asparagus. And basically, you just take the asparagus and you shave it with your vegetable peeler. Okay. Like so. Shave your asparagus. Okay. Shave it. Who put it would in have here. thought? Okay. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice. And you get about 10 minutes. Oh, and okay. I know. I mean, this acts almost like as a I'm condiment. You. Sorry. No, no, not at all. Okay, what so is what is that? that? Yes, that's what this we'll This is hideous looking. Kind of the woods mushrooms. <laughs> what is and this is actually how you would find them in the, in the woods. Huh. Um, okay. Really steak, really nice. They, they don't have as much moisture. Most mushrooms are made yeah. up of 90%. What are you eat it raw? You can. Go for it. I hope so. Doesn't make a high or anything, does it? <laughs> okay. well, we, oh, good time. At a restaurant, Al, okay. but we, we actually cook on live fire at the restaurant. So what I've actually done is taken whole heads of this oh. oyster mushroom, cooked it on the live fire, and then minced it up. Throw it on there. Okay. And then it'll be another nice little component. We add a little bit of vinegar to this. Can you slice that up for me? I sure can. Slice it in half. Such a diva. Now, Alba, named after Jessica Alba, by the way, little right? known fact. Sure. Uh, is in <laughs> Malvern. N named actually after a town, Alba, in northern Italy. Is it? Yeah. So here, I'll get you a little bit of slices. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gooey. I know. I Jeff can't Sean. wait. Yeah, it's, mm. Put a fried egg on it. It's a great breakfast. Oh, my breakfast gosh. Champions. Wow. We know where my mouth is. Do there we? you go. Yeah. <laughs> that is we fantastic. We hope we do. Yeah. That is amazing. Wow. Did you, you change, did, did you change your mind? About yeah. The cheese is beautiful, isn't it? I know. Love that cheese. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And we feature our sandwiches like this at lunch at Restaurant Alba as well. Can we find that cheese anywhere in the Delaware uh, It's difficult. Actually, it's a cheese. It, it, it's quite perishable. It doesn't last quite as long. So you can find it at the Bruno Brothers Imports. Uh, oh, yeah? But you need to use it, it right away? You need to use it pretty quick, yeah. Okay. Cool. We actually bring this in.